Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. And otherwise, we'll stop them, I guess. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Serves them right is a bit harsh. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, Explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Interesting. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. And I leveled up. Let's see. I can do with some more armor points. And let's not neglect um, our powers. And let's see, Tali gets another shotgun point. Unlocking the Carnage skill, which fires blasts of particles, inflicting weapon damage 50% over to any enemy within 2 meters of its impact point. It's a very fairly powerful skill. It only works with shotgun, so I cannot use it, of course. And well, let's give her a point in decryption. There are additional reasons why you want to spend points on electronics and decryption besides um, the, s the actual talents you gain from them. Uh, but I'll explain that when we come across it. Okay, um, let's move on. Another keeper there. And the uh, consort's office should be here, if I remember the map. Five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? 
It's not like Keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Guess not everybody is pleased with the way that Keepers operate. Good thing we're scanning them then. Can find out more. Now we get 9 E credits for each Keeper scanned. Let's see, this should be the concert offers. Uh, and I guess this is the uh, receptionist or something. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? We need an appointment for that? She must be popular then. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Massage or something like that, I suppose? I'd like to try out your services. Excellent! I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. Okay. I probably won't be here by then. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Yeah, I really don't have months to wait for that, though. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. To me, that particular walk doesn't so much say alluring as it says trying too hard. But anyway, let's see what she wants. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I can interrupt the other clients. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. An hour here is better than a year on leave. Really? That's kind of extreme. If only I could afford to come more often. No questions now. I'm trying to relax. Okay, I'll quit bothering you. Or Volus. Even the Volus uses services offered here. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. I'd spend all day here if I could. Isn't this place terrific? This is the most relaxed I've been in days. You need to get out more. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. Human military? You'll enjoy it here, I think. At ease, officer. This is a place of peace. We'll see about that. Or something. Another human enjoying one of the acolytes. 
and a human attendant. Interesting. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. The consort is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay, let's go see what this Shaira wants with us. And why everybody thinks she's so remarkable. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. General Septimus, we have seen him before in Korra's den. Now we know what he was doing there. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, why not? What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay. I guess she won't talk to us any further until we help her. Automation, Citadel, Atsari Consort. We need to talk to General Septimus. Which means we need to return to Korra's den. So, let's do that. However, I want to stop I have by... To admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. The fact that there's three strangers standing right behind you listening in on the conversation might also force you out of your con uh, comfort zone. Just my uh, estimation of the situation there. I went fairly often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since this took over, I don't go anymore. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The embassy lounges are bad. But they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. Hmm. <laughs> Could be. Doesn't seem unlikely in any case. Um, I'm actually going to use ra uh, rapid transit here. It basically just... Uh, it was pretty simple. You select where you want to go, and then you immediately go there without having to walk or take elevators. But I want to go to the med clinic, actually, uh, to the um, front area of the wards, before going to Koro's den, because there's a couple things to take care of there as well. For one thing, uh, Emily Wong should be waiting for us here, and we can give her the information. But also, I want to go to the med clinic.